we're counting down our top 10 best Hollywood Studios snacks. Let's rank. Hello everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sam. And you are watching the Theme Park Foodies and we're back at Disney's Hollywood Studios, one of my favorite parks for snacks. I think Epcot gets a lot of love in regards to like Disney food, but my two favorite parts for snacks are definitely the Animal Kingdom and Disney's Hollywood Studios. And there are so many that we feel like we have to get every time we're here, right? Yeah, and we couldn't do just the top five. We had to make it a top ten. <laughs> yeah. Some of these things are in another galaxy. Some of these things are in Andy's backyard. Yeah. We're going all over. And they're actually, we did a top uh, five quick service restaurants. And because some of those items are like meals, we didn't put them on here. So I will give some notable mentions throughout. For those that haven't seen our top fives or top tens before, because theme park food is so inconsistent, we do try each item as we go through the top 10 to see if it sticks the landing, if it's still our favorite thing. And there are just so many iconic treats here that like you said, we couldn't just relegate it to a five. There had to be 10 items. And we came very hungry today, I didn't eat breakfast, so. We did it and we got our Tupperware ready to go <laughs> yeah. so that we can do all 10 things, take a bite, bring it home for later. Yeah, we don't recommend eating all this stuff at lunch, especially with all the sugars. So we always generally do bring Tupperware, just so you guys know, we're not eating all these things and shoving them down. We'll take a bite or two, make sure it's still good, and then uh, enjoy it again at home. So are you ready to head over to number 10, Sam? I'm ready. Um, happy that there are some savory snacks on this list. Yeah, so a lot not of, just all sugar. There is a lot of sugar, but there yeah, it's not all sugar. There is a lot of sugar, sugar <laughs> but it's not all sugar. Yeah, me too. All right, you ready? I'm ready. If you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe and join us while we count down our top 10 favorite snacks here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. So if you're facing the Grumman's Chinese Theater, you need a bear left and head right down the little area, the little nook where ABC Commissary is. You'll pass ABC Commissary, you're going to see Sci-Fi Dining, and then right connected to Sci-Fi Dining will be Baseline Tap House and our number 10 snack. This is the Baseline Tap House Bavarian pretzel. It comes with both a mustard and a cheese sauce. You can tell that the cheese sauce is really good because it has a good crust on the cheese. It's real cheese. Uh, I feel like it's been bigger in previous That's iterations though. And this is a spicy mustard and this is a beer cheese fondue. Ooh. As much as I like Mickey shaped pretzels, I always feel like they're like 50-50, like it's going to be really stale. And I love pretzels, hence my necklace. So I always prefer to get this pretzel over the Mickey pretzel. Let's look at that necklace. I'm sorry, Mickey. I feel like it used to be more shareable. I feel like it was definitely a little bigger. But it was bigger last time. Probably, this is probably good for us, though, because we're about to eat 10 things. It's still a really nice size, though, and I still... I like the cheese a lot. If you see, there's a crust on this cheese. That's how you know it's real cheese. Real cheese isn't always gooey like that. It gets a little crust on top as it cools down. Adds to the texture, adds to the flavor. There's a bit of, like, a pungent... I feel like type of flavor with that beer cheese and the beer comes forward. They have a lot of great beers here too. We're just not big drinkers. I feel like this place is just like a step up from your standard quick service. The food is always like elevated. I love the dip so much. I'm gonna give it a seven. Yeah, really good. Um, which dip is your favorite? Honestly, they're both so different. This really has like a kick. Like it is like a spicy kick that I like, but this beer cheese is like incredible too. So. I think they're both. I do love both, but I gotta go with the cheese if it's me. All right, so for our number nine treat, we actually have to head down Sunset Boulevard with the Hollywood Tower of Terror looming over us. As you head down Sunset Boulevard, you're making a left to Sunset Ranch Market and heading into Rosie's All-American Cafe. It's only got outdoor seating, but they do have this fantastic themed was it like a peanut butter tart or is it peanut, peanut butter cookie and it's supposed to be a pretzel shortbread there's strawberry jam peanut butter fudge inside and then the chocolate phantasmic image on the top I, I think aesthetically this definitely lends itself to especially the fact that phantasmic is across the street so i think if you're watching phantasmic it compliments that a lot i'm a huge fan of peanut butter and jelly so this really pops to me you know all right ready it doesn't look like there's a lot of filling though like the it's a thin layer you don't really need it though. The filling adds a good amount of moisture and there's a lot of crunchiness in the cookie. This is delicious. And this is chocolate, like chocolate, it's not fondant. 
I can see something and it's dry. But it has that smooth flavor. It's complemented by like the crunchiness as far as like textures go, smooth texture. Then you have that crunch. And then you have a little bit of moisture from the jam. I really like it. I'll give it an eight. Especially because of how like nice it looks and how it complements the theme of the area. I might put this higher up on the list, but we'll have to get more into the list to see, you know, but it's really good. Now our first item from Galaxy's Edge, a galaxy far, far away, takes us to a little market square where you can find Katsaka's Kettle. They're known for their popcorn, but in recent memory, they brought over here the Black Calf Cold Brew. Now this used to be a Disneyland exclusive item. This Cocoa Puffs on top, a nice cream topping. It looks very alien. Uh, but they brought it over here to Walt Disney World. In Disneyland, you actually, I think, have to go to Docking Bay 7. Don't quote me on that. But here, it's at Katsaka's Kettle. And the first time we had this, it wasn't that great. And then we had it again, and now it's in our top 10, right? I think they've gotten better. We got it, like, when it first came over. We were so excited, and it wasn't good. You do have to mix it. And if you can, ask for light ice and extra cream. It is a sweet cream cheese foam. So I think mixing it really uh, makes the difference. And yes, coffee is a snack if you have a caffeine addiction. Also, it's got Cocoa Puffs on top. It's a dessert coffee. It definitely is a dessert coffee. It's, it tastes like a, a strong dark roast and then it has just like a nice hint of the sweet. It's not, the sweet cream cheese foam isn't that, it's not overly sweet. And you know, who doesn't love Cocoa Puffs? Jason always likes eating the puffs, you know, after we finish. Them. Yeah, I usually eat the puffs. Stay crunchy. Do you get any like sourness from the cream cheese? Slight. I don't think it's. I don't think the cream is overpowering. And I'm gonna give this an eight. And you can also get it spiked. All right. So our number seven takes us over to Toy Story Land, Andy's backyard. So if you're facing the Chinese theater, you're going to bear right. It's gonna be right past One Man Stream. And I honestly like the whole menu here, but there are a few items that are just synonymous with. Hollywood Studios with Eatin' in Annie's Backyard, and one of them is this gourmet lunchbox tart. It's the raspberry version, right, Sam? This is the one they always have, and then they always have a seasonal one. Right now, it's a hot uh, chocolate one. So you can see, sometimes you get more filling than others. This one looks like it's skimped out a bit on the filling. So let's try this out. It's crunchy. It has like that tart raspberry flavor. It's very soft. It, it tastes like a cookie, like a like a cookie. Like a shortbread cookie with jam. Exactly. I really like it. I like the icing on it too. If you have a good feeling, good icing, the icing adds a good level of moisture to it. And again, accentuates the texture. But they have been dry. And that's one of the weaknesses of these. Um, I think we put this at seven, right, Sam? Yes. Yeah. So I think seven suffices for the dryness. It is a really good uh, lunchbox start. So I'm going to give it a seven. Probably one of my favorite things to get here. And something that, like, whenever I bring someone here, I feel like you, you gotta get these, right? Yeah, I like it with coffee. Yeah, they are good with coffee. Because it adds that moisture to it. That's the big issue with these, is that they're dry. Uh, also, very hard to get a table here. Sunny. Yes, very sunny on hot days. It's, it, this is like, they need some fans in here or something. I know, like, the toys wouldn't technically have fans, but it gets hot. It's hard to find a seat, and it's all outside, which is, if it had indoor seating and AC, this might be our number one quick service dining spot, but all that stuff kind of brings it down a bit. All right, so our number six item takes us back near Baseline Tap House. It's kind of right before you hit Star Wars, you're gonna see Backlot Express. It's themed like a Hollywood backlot with a ton of different memorabilia adorning the walls. And this is a Star Wars themed item. It is a Wookiee cookie. It's basically an elevated oatmeal sandwich cookie with like that delicious cream in the middle, like if you know those little Debbie ones, but it's giant, right? Yes, it's kind of like a cross between like a cookie and a whoopie pie. And it's changed over the years. I feel like it used to be like softer, the the. Yeah, it used to be softer, it used to be smaller. Uh, they're more like these thick, um, they're kind of crunchy oatmeal cookies. You got a chocolate Chewbacca sash, and you got some cream. Yeah, I mean, if I was a Wookiee, I would eat this. And I feel like a, a whole family could really share this. Look at the size of that thing. I usually like to take the top off of it and just eat like half of it. Yeah, like that. And then you can just, I feel like it's easier because the cream doesn't go smushing everywhere. And the chocolate sash is just like a milk chocolate sash. To take it or leave it, I usually take it off. The cookies are good. They're crunchy on the outside, soft and chewy on the inside. 
the cream is like super fluffy and nice. It's, I don't know what the cream is though. It's kind of just like a vanilla standard cream. I still one of my favorite snacks here. I would give this a seven. Yeah, it's really good. I would agree with the seven. It's a great thing to share with your family. It's an awesome novelty if you have like a Star Wars fan and it kind of celebrates classic Star Wars with Chewy. It's one of those great like Star Wars quick service options that you can't really get in Galaxy's Edge because it has an original theming. You could sit inside, which on a super hot day, it's always nice to come into Backlot Express. Yeah, usually great AC, AC in here and awesome theming. All right, so for number five, very easy to get to it. You're facing the Chinese theater when you enter. You make a right and it's the Starbucks. It's the Trolley Car Cafe and it's the Carrot Cake Cookie Sandwich. This is also had a few iterations, right Sam? It's a bit big. I thought it was a whoopie pie. I think it's a whoopie pie. Okay, yeah, I think it's a whoopie pie. Whoopie pie. Uh, we've had this a few times. It used to be thinner, now it's bigger. It's one of the few things that actually got bigger. <laughs> you know, usually it's shrinkflation. Uh, it's got two very moist pieces of like carrot cake and then delicious cream center. I'm going to use a spoon. We did some B-roll with our hands and both Sam and I learned why we usually use utensils on this and that's because it gets all over your hands. Breakfast of champions. It's so moist. Like deliciously. Look at how moist that is. And you get even more moisture from the cream. Part of me feels like... And it comes in a little container so you don't have to eat it all at once. You even need the cream. You do need the cream. It's a whoopie pie. Whoopie pie doesn't need cream. That little crunchy texture from the carrots. It really is just perfect type of way to complement your coffee at the Starbucks over here. That's why it's our number five. We're at the halfway point. Yeah, it's iconic, and I am filled with sugar at this point. I'm gonna give it a eight for the moisture, for the creaminess, for the iconic nature of it. Something I feel like you gotta get every time you're here, right, Sam? Right. All right, so our number four takes us to the edge of a galaxy far, far away. Now, if you're in Galaxy's Edge and you're facing the Millennium Falcon, you're gonna wanna bear left right next to Docking Bay 7, which is the quick service uh, restaurant here. They have another quick service restaurant called Ronto Roasters. You can see a little droid roasting some Ronto, and this is the Ronto Wrap. It is synonymous with Galaxy's Edge, probably the most popular food item they came out with when they opened this land. And what's on it, Sam? So you have a pita, you have a, a grilled pork sausage, and then also a roasted sausage, tangy slaw. There's also a really good peppercorn sauce on this. And I do want to mention that this does close at 3 p.m. And if you want to get the Ronto Wrap after 3 p.m., you can go to Docking Bay 7. Although when we've gone to Docking Bay 7, we feel like it wasn't as good. I feel like they don't taste as good. I feel like they just like make a ton here and then like throw them over there. It tasted stale. Yeah. But I mean, I could be wrong. It's, it's very good. I can't wait to have my bite after I'm done filming you. They actually use a pod racing pod to roast the Ronto. You can see it turning. The grilled sausage just like has that nice snap to it, but I also like how there's also the roasted um, sausage too. It kind of gives you like those two different textures of the meat. The slaw gives it the crunch. The pita is always like nicely toasted. I'm gonna give it, I love this. I'm gonna give it an eight. Yeah, the wind is taking that uh, wrapper. Yeah, I definitely say this was an, this is an eight. Uh, I'm not sure if it, I can't put it at nine or 10 for some reason. I feel like there's just something there. We used to really like the Endorian chicken wrap too. That was really good. I love the peppercorn sauce. I think it like ties it together. Yeah, and it's two different types of pork textures. It's good. While we're on our way out of Galaxy's Edge, I did want to provide a notable mention to the blue milk stand here. Blue and green milk stand. A lot of people like it, some people hate it. It's too divisive, I feel like, to put on a top 10 list. All right, so if you guys remember Rosie's All-American Cafe, there's a restaurant in the Sunset Ranch Market. It's called Catalina Eddie's. It's directly net next to Rosie's All-American Cafe. And we are back with the Tower of Terror looming over upon us. This is a blondie, right, Sam? It's a toffee and coconut blondie. This was a 50th anniversary treat and they decided to keep it and I'm very happy that they did. Yeah, this was one of our favorite things from the 50th anniversary. I feel like this and over at Magic Kingdom, the Tropical Serenade. Those are like our two favorite snacks that came out of the 50th. Yeah, it was previously called the like glimmer and shimmer blondie or something, but yeah. now it's just uh, toffee and coconut. It's the same thing. I mean, it's, it's very toffee filled. Again, 
shareable with the family. Huge. Probably the size of the Wookiee cookie, honestly. This is one of my faves. Now, if you don't like coconut, obviously this is going to be for you. Yeah, it's like shredded coconut. There's yeah. a lot in there. So. But the toppy, like the gooiness of the toppy mixed with the texture of the coconut, it's delicious. And I don't even really think you need... Ooh, it's got cream all over my hands. I don't even think you need like all the cream on top. I think the cream like overdoes it. It is pretty moist right there in the center. Ooh. If you would have dropped that, it would have been so sad. <laughs> Let me try some of the cream though. Give the cream a fair shake. Mm, so good. For quick service, that's a nine. That is so good. All right, so our number two snack actually takes us to two places over here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. They're very close to each other. So there's one called The Market. This is the original place that you can get what's called the Jack Jack Cookie Num Num. But they also have a little Pixar, Pixar courtyard area that actually has a Jack Jack Cookie Num Num booth. It has like a little giant like milk thing right next to it. And you can meet all the different Incredibles characters over in this courtyard. We're dining on this cookie in this courtyard and it originally actually was able to get it over at Disneyland. This is where we first had it. Yes. And we actually liked it so much. We had it multiple times on that trip. Like, that's how good it was. Yes. And we were so happy when it came over here. I do know that this is inconsistent, though, because I have heard people get this and not be impressed with it. But I gotta say, like, right now, like, this is warm and gooey. And I just feel like this is, like, a quintessential chocolate chip cookie. Like, it just has that classic... Like, chocolate chip cookie pie. Yeah, so it's the same good. size as that blondie we got earlier. That's, that's a beaut. It's got this soft center and this crunchy exterior. I need some milk. It's so good. Yeah, it could go with for some milk. It's just like such a classic taste to it. Like it's just classic chocolate chip. Like it just tastes like your mom made cookies out of the oven. But it is a yeah, pie. It's thicker, but still like a nice warm gooey center and then like a crunchy exterior. This is, I'm giving this a nine. Like this one right now is like, so good yeah when you get it warm when you get it fresh like that's what makes this thing kind of iconic and i definitely think we really got a good iteration this time it's, it's so good i need some milk before we get to our number one i did want to give a notable mention to probably one of my favorite quick service meals here in disney's hollywood studios it can be found at the abc commissary and it's this buffalo chicken grilled cheese. I contemplated putting this within the top three. If it was on this list, it would be in the top three, but I just felt like it's more of a meal. Everything we got, we kind of get is like a snack, right? I feel like that picture of it is like not doing it justice either. Yeah, right? It looks a lot better than that picture. I'm also not a fan of the salad. I, would, I prefer getting like the fries that come with the burger. But I wish, wish you had room, but we don't. Yeah, but we definitely recommend this. If it was on this list, it would be in the top three without a doubt. All right, drum roll, please. Our number one quick service snack. It's gotta be the tachos. We're going back to Woody's Lunchbox. We were here earlier. We're actually still here now. We didn't film this actually in order, uh, but these have such an amazing soft and then crunchy texture. You get a little sharp cheddar flavor in there. It's got the chili cheese on top. It also has a nice smoothness with the sour cream. It's the texture, it's the flavor. They're consistently always good. It's a big portion in my opinion. Yeah, um, you gotta mix these up a bit though. And they also have a vegan version as well. Yeah, so the whole family and all different flavor palettes and dietary restrictions can enjoy this in different iterations. It's the creaminess, it's the texture. Um, I also think we built this top 10 based off what we think is consistently good, and these have been consistently good, right? Right. Yeah, so that's why they got their, our number one slot. I do think a lot of these things can be interchangeable. I do think that we can have a lot of different options on here. Uh, and also there's some like actual foods I would have liked to put on this list that we didn't put on here because we've highlighted them in our top five quick service videos before. So we'll definitely put that top five quick service video in the description of this video because um, there's a lot of good food in that that's actually not on this list. But these are, are like our favorite snacks, right? Right. They're very filling though. I do always feel like a little tired after eating them. I'm going to go eight with these. I want to get your number on them on this iteration. They're the same thing every time I get them. Very good. I can't quite, quite go nine with them for some reason. There's something holds me back. But Disney, they know how to do 
tachos. It's something they do really well. The breakfast ones, these ones, always good. Hi Sam, let's hear your thoughts on the number one. What I like is that there's like a queso and there's also shredded cheese too. Yeah, no, the different flavors. It's a double cheese. So good. It, it's an eight. Right, like you can't quite go nine for some reason. With I think if the queso was more evenly distributed throughout the dish, I think that might make it better because like it is kind of all on top. So when you get to the bottom, you're, you're more just having tots. So I think that's really the only thing to me that's holding it back from being higher. And then, oh, and there's Fritos in it. I forgot about that. That yeah, I that's love. A, that's a crunchy texture. It's crunch, like it makes it unique. We caught Daisy watering the flowers here at Hollywood Studios on our way out. Right in front of the Chinese theater where she belongs. A true star. All right, so that does it for our top 10 food crawl here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. The snacks, they were great. This is honestly one of the hardest top 10s I think feel like we ever had to make because I could interchange the, probably from like eight to one anything that we had. Uh, some days th things are better than others, things are inconsistent, but everything was good that we had, right? Everything was delicious. Yeah. And there are some other things that we do like that didn't make this list. I do like the sweet cream cheese pretzel. They have that at a couple of spots. Yeah. They have good funnel cakes here. I also heard um, that there's Pog Gelato. It's in Ooh. the Muppets Courtyard that we haven't tried that I know a lot of people like. I feel like we sh stray away from ice cream and ices just because usually it's super hot and melts and camera and you don't get the shots and yeah, no, ice cream is very hard to film, although we do love the Tropical Serenade over at Magic Kingdom. We, at least that's in a cup, though. Yeah. You can drink it and it melts into the cup. I do think for me, even though tachos were one, I honestly think the Jack Jack cookie we got today might have been the one. As well as the... Um, I need some milk. The, yeah, well, the coconut... Uh, the blondie. Blondie. Was really good. was so good, too. I, I'll put those, at, you know, above the tachos but like I said anything could be on this list could be interchangeable we recommend everything on here obviously based off of your particular flavors you could pick what you would like to try if you were coming here and if there are things that you did not see in this top 10 let us know in the comments below we'd love to pin it we'd love to talk to you about it if there are things we haven't tried we'd love to try them out we're yeah, always, these are just yeah. things that we find ourselves like that we keep going back for yeah and that we think like are iconic or very notable with Disney's Hollywood Studios they were really good I am very full despite having all of this different Tupperware that we have left. We have three Tupperwares filled to the brim with yeah. treats. Yeah, and I'm still insanely full, despite having a few bites of everything that you watched us eat. So uh, it was a very successful call. It was a great crawl. I had so much fun, and I, I love this park. Yeah, really and do. we met some of you today, so thank you so much for coming up and saying hi. Yeah. We really appreciate that. We're always open to say hi. We're always open to open the talk. It makes us feel great, because when, as soon as we put this out here in the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm, <laughs> Uh, it, it's just her and I working together and even though you know we can see the views and stuff on there we don't know who's viewing it it, it, it could feel I don't want to say lonely but <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying though like yeah you know, it's nice to like, put a face to the subscriber yeah we really appreciate it always feel free to say hi and if you enjoy the content please like and subscribe liking will really help our channel grow it pushes this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm helps other people find the video subscribing it also helps our channel grow hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time that videos come out which is when sam every monday and thursday at 12 p.m thanks so much for watching don't count the days, Make the days count. we will see you next time that's all folks the entrance to this park too is just so incredibly kinetic there's so many moving parts that make it feel very engaging even just with the wind with the palm trees blowing in the wind the flags above the opening the spinning world that mickey is standing on top of and i as um it's definitely not Disneyland. Disneyland is a better entrance, but it has the same Disneyland feel where when you enter, it feels longer than when you're exiting. When you're exiting, it feels shorter. You know? Beautiful park. And some of the best snacks in Walt Disney World. Mm -hmm.